Sometimes you get to a reef and look around and there's just not much there. But if you keep looking close, you might see some signs of life. And then all of a sudden, these white tip reef sharks are all males. They're gathering here for mating. This happens once a year in the Pupukea Marine Life Conservation District, just outside of Three Tables. The sharks all have different personalities, so to speak. Some are comfortable getting close. Some are very curious. Some keep their distance and want nothing to do with humans. It's unusual for them to be swimming around and very active during the day, but that's part of this whole mating gathering that they're doing. Usually in the day, white tip reef sharks just lie under rocks for hours and just breathe. These are some of a few species of sharks that can just open their mouth and suck in water to pass by their gills so they can keep breathing. I have seen some unusual things with white tip reef sharks. Have you ever seen a shark cough? Now you have. Have you ever seen a shark fart? Now you have. This one even used its pectoral fins to crawl backwards. And if white tip reef sharks do emerge during the day, it's usually to stretch their fins real quick. Sometimes they're drawn out just from curiosity. and then they go right back down and rest some more. This one swam around the reef a little bit. Very mellow, not aggressive. Seemed like he was half asleep and then went right back into a cave and did go to sleep. So back to the gathering. White tip reef sharks have a little slice out of the top of their tail. This shark also has a bite or something, some kind of notch out of the middle of its tail as you come down the fin. This shark comes by a lot. So let's call this one notch so we can keep track of it. He's a very curious little shark. After he circled a few times, he went back down and hung out with the other sharks. But he kept coming back, which was really interesting to me. It's also unusual to see white tip reef sharks swimming around during the day because they get preyed on a lot by bigger sharks. And they're usually afraid of almost anything on the reef including even this manta ray that's a filter feeder. This particular gathering of sharks was their annual gathering back in 2020. And a manta ray just happened to swim right by him and scare them all. And here's that little notch again. He's still curious, still coming right up to me, interested in what I am and what I'm doing. These white tip reef sharks, like all sharks, have ampullae of Lorenzini, little black dots that line their skin that pick up electric 
sensations in the water. They can pick up the electric pulse from a pacemaker that signals the heart to beat. You can imagine how loudly the three hearts of an octopus sound to these sharks. For these sharks in particular right here, they were quite interested in my GoPro and the electronic signals that it was sending off. And watch how quickly they can turn. This one I'm starting to follow into the cave. It sees that I'm there, notices that I'm there, and doesn't want to completely turn its back to me. So it heads out again. This one has a broken jaw. So sad, I don't know how it eats. It was mildly curious, it came past us a couple times. Of the nine sharks, only three or four came up to us, but they came up to us repeatedly. The secret to swimming with white tip reef sharks is to hold as still as possible. So I would go down to the reef and just hold still. And that let them determine how they wanted the interaction to go. It gave them the keys to the car, so to speak, put them in the driver's seat. And they could come up to me, come close if they wanted, they could stay away if they wanted, and most of them stayed away. But these two or three, mostly Notch, just kept coming back over and over again to see what I was, what my camera was, what those strange electric signals were. Very curious, very beautiful animals. This one started to come close, but my breath hold was running out and so I had to start ascending you notice it quickly swam away it wanted nothing to do with that if I was gonna move at all it was gonna leave Look at these beautiful reef fish. The gold ring surgeon fish is so amazing. When it gets in just a certain light, you can see all of the polka dots on the nose and all of the lined patterns on its back. Just beautiful. All these fish didn't seem to really care that these sharks were around. One, because these sharks mostly eat crustaceans and octopus from the reef. As we can see in this video, this is a very young white tip reef shark shoving its nose into a crack to eat a crab. And it got a crab and then chomped on it for a few minutes as soon as it came out of that crack. This is more when the shark is hunting, this is more the behavior that it shows and you'll notice some of the fish keep their distance. Like that pair of fish. Doesn't want anything to do with the shark in its hunting mode. But for our gathering white tips, they were very mild. And here's Notch again, with a very close pass to the camera. You can see the little black dots, the little amp ampullae of Lorenzini. Amazing fish. So beautiful, so graceful. And then this one always had some opello around it. And look, here we go, here's Notch coming close again. 
the most curious by far of all these sharks. There's that notch out of its tail. I did not ever feel threatened by these sharks because they're not in hunting mode, not displaying anything aggressive. This poor broken jaw shark was only mildly curious. Came by us a couple times, but that's about it. And here comes Notch again, swimming by us. By far the most curious. Interesting how they have different personalities. As we were at this reef, a giant female green sea turtle came by. This turtle was over four feet long, must have been well over 100 years old, and easily over 300 pounds. Just a massive turtle. Very chill, just wondering what we're up to. These sharks stayed at this reef in the exact same location for two days. Shark skin is made of microscopic teeth called dermal denticles or placoid scales. These microscopic teeth all point toward the tail, which makes the shark glide through the water easily going forward. They also prevent the shark from getting many types of cancers. These are not mindless predators that just go after food, food, food. They're curious individuals with different personalities. Here's what that looks like from the surface. From what I've seen, these spots that they have on their sides are unique to each individual like fingerprints. It's a good way to track them, keep track of them. And if one shark's gonna get close, you better believe that Notch is gonna come close too. And there he is. <laughs> Such beautiful animals, so sleek. Thank you for joining our white tip reef shark adventure, and please like and subscribe.